Hi, George Saunders talks about the one thing he regrets most in his life in his latest book, Congratulations By The Way, Some Thoughts On Kindness. He's a best-selling author and a professor at Syracuse University, and this was actually a graduation speech. It went viral in just a couple of days when it was up on the New York Times website. Um, he describes in here some memories that anyone might want to squash, but says that he regrets most of all failures of kindness. So this is a little sad, but it's funny too, and it's sweet. And he gives one solution, one key to a happy life, which is always welcome. Uh, most reviews on Amazon are five star, but there's a one star review. It's a very elegant rebuke by a chap called Bob, who says that since this is a reprint of a speech, George Saunders already made it, and it's a very quick read that it's not worth the $14 price tag. On the one hand, I can agree with that. The artwork is the same on the left-hand side of every left-hand side page all the way through, which is a little disappointing. But on the other hand, if you buy it and it changes your life even a little bit, um, which it can do because we know that being kind makes us happy, then that's worth probably more than $14 to us. Um, also, George Saunders has 10 free stories available on openculture.com, so he can't be accused of being ungenerous. Uh, some of those stories do qualify as science fiction. I'm not a huge fan of science fiction, but they still have the George Saunders wit and the honesty, which is sometimes brutal. Um, but the way that he writes, the way that he creates a character's voice really grabs you by the throat and, and drags you into that world. It's fantastic how he does that. Um, he studied at Syracuse under Tobias Wolfe, which he says was one of the great blessings of his life because, it, for one reason, uh, Wolfe taught him that writers shouldn't be wrecks. They shouldn't be addicted to drugs or drink or whatever and wild and crazy, but that in fact, as a writer, it's necessary to try and be an excellent human being, alert, forgiving, funny, and morally engaged in the world around you, which is no mean feat. Um, so our cocktail today is called A Buddhist Delight because Saunders practices Buddhism, and you can discern that in the calm honesty of his writing. This is made with a vodka from New York State called Bootlegger 21. Um, and the Made in New York Spirits movement is booming at the moment. So we have vodka, we have butterscotch schnapps, cocoa powder, and it's topped off with some delicious salted caramel, which is not very good for you, but it's so good. And you can drink this either cold over ice or you can heat it in the microwave. This is over ice. And it's delicious. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.